it is officially engagement party day. It is shoot day. I have such an exciting video and like I've actually rented a space. I've got camera guys and a sound person and it is so incredibly legit today. Um, because like I was like, okay, if I'm gonna do this video, we're gonna do this video properly. And so I'm really excited to have proper production. Not that like the usual production on the like main channel videos isn't of quality, but this is like of quality. Um, and this will be going out uh, uh, probably in less than a week when you're watching this vlog so the wait will not be very long and you'll get a major sneak peek of the video today um, I've also got Mia, Remy, Ollie and Caleb Marshall coming to set with me today to help be in the video and I feel like any video that's got friends in it is so much more fun um, anyways but yeah at, oh my mic literally just fell off the camera hopefully you can still hear me hopefully this whole clip has sound there we go. Anyways, I'm at a proper set today and um, with the whole crew. Very exciting. There's nothing much to it. Oh, another release. Oh, wait, that. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Same break. Someone went to Windsor. My next victim has um, arrived. Just, like, <laughs> Lana Del Rey's newest. Uh, <laughs> Lana Del Rey's, no. Ollie's biggest fan. Is Lana Del Rey. Hi. Oh, oh my god, stop! No. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. <laughs> I can't. I'm gonna pass out before we start filming. <laughs> I know we should have talked about that after you started filming. No, actually, this hyped you up. I'm still really. This hyped you up. It's gonna be great. Surprise. It's gonna be Shut great. Up. Imagine. I would, I would absolutely. <laughs> in the dress. <laughs> Hello, it is officially engagement party day. I'm so excited. And honestly, even more exciting than it being engagement party day, Moose is home from school finally. He is such a pooped puppy right now. We have regained our uh, newest uh, educated schoolboy pup who is home. Eee. Mom DIY is here. <laughs> So not only is Moose home from school, we've got all of the pups. Um, I've got my whole family in town. We had a big family trip uh, planned for this month from like months and months and months ago, like way earlier, like pre-engagement planning um, for this trip. And um, it ended up just timing out perfectly to schedule the engagement party for when all my family is here. Um, again, Jeremy and I have both very, very small families. So I've got my two cousins, my aunt, and all of their significant others in town. And they're just renting an Airbnb um, near our place. And then Jeremy also has his mom in town. So we've got family members coming out of the wazoo um, in every direction. So it has been an eventful week. And um, today is finally party day. I'm so excited. I'm going to send a separate vlog camera with my assistant over to the venue today so I can get some time lapses of the setup. I'm so excited to see everything come together. I've been super hands on in terms of like having a specific vision for what I hope tonight will look like. It also is like LA has been getting so much rain and so I guess I'm not that surprised. It's not like it would almost be more offensive if it hadn't rained like in the last 365 days and today was the day that it was raining um, but it's a 50% chance of rain this evening. Um, but I'm not kidding, this entire week, it said Friday, the only day this week, 100% chance of rain. Do you know how often in LA it says 100% chance of rain? Not very often. So I was deeply offended, but I think we might be okay. And regardless, we're gonna be inside. But people in LA have a tendency to just like not wanna leave their house when it's raining because rain is so kind of like few and far between. But everything is gonna be fine and I'm so excited. So here's what I know, we've got a really cute little like photo op um, that's got some arches and a bunch of florals and this really cute JL um, 
I guess it's, is it a monogram? I can't decide if this would be a monogram or not. That's like the main photo taking area. We also, if you remember the tour of the venue, um, there were like really long, just like rectangle tables. We're taking most of those out. So it's like easier to just like flow and chat with people and hang. And we're doing um, a big couch in the middle with some ottomans. So it's just like a much more relaxed environment. I think it makes it feel just like more of a hang and less of like a sit down meal because that's also just like, not what it is. Um, we've got, sir, sir, sir. Actually, you know what? Let's reposition. My arm is dying. Also got cake, which is funfetti. And um, it's like very formal and pretty on the outside. So it's like formal on the outside, party on the inside. Ah! We're also doing um, cupcakes of the same flavor. And also, um, I think it's vanilla macarons we're doing or I can't remember what the flavor was, but basically they had to be like very neutral tone to fit within the color palette. Um, so I forget what flavor they were, um, but I'm excited to see all the desserts and all of the like little floral table settings. I really feel like this has been like a mini pre-planning 101 for wedding planning. Um, learned a lot, excited to see it all come together. And I definitely have pre-party jitters, just being like, what if people don't have fun? What if people like don't like the food? What if people don't have anything to talk about? So um, anyways, we'll probably have a pre-party beverage uh, leading up to it. And I've got hair and makeup coming soon. Um, I wish the pups were coming. They are not. I'm sure that they would be um, absolutely ecstatic about all of the food that I'm sure would be falling on the ground, but they will not be in attendance for the engagement party. The wedding though, absolutely. The engagement party, because we are at a restaurant, unfortunately, they will not be in attendance. Um, okay, time to start getting my life together. It's literally 11.30 and the party doesn't start until seven, but like working backwards, my hair girl comes at two, makeup comes at four, we have to leave at six. I have to eat something smallish at like 5.45 before we leave. And then, okay, anyways, that's a cue to wrap it up. Okay, we'll see you soon. A double pup household, Dickie. <laughs> a double pup household. Yeah, see who needs human grandchildren? Who needs human grandchildren? Right, puppies? Who would be the baby? You're the baby. You're the baby. Diglett, you're the baby. <laughs> Do you have a couple of your unison? Wow. Hey. <gasps> oh. Oh. Do you said? Okay, he's like, so there were two hands petting two dogs and now I see there's only one dog here and still only one hand petting me. I'm just a little confused. What are you doing? <laughs> are you in a diggy spot? Are you in a diggy spot? Oh, Diglett. Oh, Diglett. Hello, hello, Diglett. Hello. Okay, hair is done and just like pinned to the side right now um, because the makeup artist is arriving. There is so much hairspray in my hair right now because it is kissing, pouring, absolutely dumping buckets of rain. When I used to live here, I used to wish for cozy rain days. We're good, we're good. We're, we, this, is, this is so much rain, I'm feeling cozy. I have been fulfilled in my cozy rain days and I'm over it, I'm over it. I'm good, I am good on the rain. Um, but anyways, I've got like enough hairspray that this hair could last me until 2026. <laughs> So I think we'll be fine. I actually ordered multiple umbrellas and a rain jacket for the first time ever in living in LA for the last seven years. So we'll be fine, we'll be set. Um, and I just sent my vlog camera over to the venue to get the time lapses of some of the setups. The vendors I think are all arriving around 3 p.m. So we've got the florist, the balloons, the decor people, the couch person that's bringing like the bigger pieces and I'm so excited. 50% chance of rain later today at 7 p.m. So fingers crossed. I'm still holding out. It's only like three-ish right now. Um, I think we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. That's the attitude I need to put out. We're gonna be okay. The rain is going to stop. This is also a covered patio anyway. So like, it's gonna be fine. But like, just being a little dramatic, like I would love for it to not be raining. Okay, this lighting is bad and I'm running behind and I'm gonna bring the vlog camera and I'm shooting a whole video that's gonna be separate. The makeup is done, the hair is done, the dress. She is here. She is revealed. I saw a hate comment. Someone said I screamed too much and I just, I'm really trying to hold back. Um, okay, okay, 
Okay, we're doing a pearl moment. Um, I am so incredibly snatched. Oh, I have all of the engagement party dress footage of trying on this dress before I made a final decision. Like obviously I shot a ton of footage for all of the dresses. So I'll put all that footage into this video so you can see it like up close and detailed because it's gonna be dark I think at the party and so that's why we're having professional videographer and photographer um, to obviously recap it in a more professional way than the vlog but Okay, lighting is obviously not great, but it looks so stunning. Like the before and after of what this space looked like is amazing. Also, I found these balloons on Pinterest that I asked if we could have and they are so beautiful. They're great balloons. Eee, they're great, great balloons. balloons, they're great balloons. Ah, oh, it looks so good, it looks so good. We also have like a little literal logo, except for it's just Jeremy's initials because it looked better with the J and the L next to each other instead of it being an L and J because normally we go by like Lauren and Jeremy, but it had to be Jeremy and Lauren because the way the initials look together. So it's basically just a Jeremy Lewis logo. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do a quick pan. Thank and you all for coming to my show. For, to your show, the, just the Jeremy Lewis. Yeah, can I get an angle? I'm oh, sorry, sorry. Please, thank you. Wow. <laughs> Let me show you around and then we'll do like proper, proper tour with an actual video. Great angle. Thanks. Okay, here's the little photo op. It's so cute. We've got big candles and disco balls. And then all of this draping is what's covering those blue dividers. So you can see like a small little one over there. It makes the room feel so much taller, like genuinely makes such a big difference. And then these are the little balloons. They're literally just like light up helium balloons. They're so cute. We've got all these little floral arrangements on each of the tables, very cute. And then here's the middle section um, where the table used to be. I love this couch. I feel like I just did a shoot at an Airbnb that had a couch like this. Um, I'm in a strictly standing dress. So I won't be sitting here, but I'm so excited for guests to enjoy this. And then we've got more of our florals over here. We've got our families, yeah! And then over here, over here, we've got our open bar. Oh, so cute. Okay, so here's our his and her drinks. We even have the Jeremy Lewis napkins. <laughs> And then this one is so pretty. I love, I asked whatever the, the drippy white florals. That's exactly how I described them. The drippy white florals is what I asked for. More candles, these light up balloons, and then the dessert corner is incredible. Here are the cupcakes. Look at this cake. This cake is beautiful. <gasps> it's exactly what I asked for, but it's still funfetti on the inside, which I'm so excited about. And then we've got our macaron tower. It looks so good. Oh, it's also just like the perfect amount of space that's like not too big and empty where people will feel awkward, I think. It feels perfect. Hello, it is a few days later and I am back with an engagement party recap. 
oh my god what an incredible night i feel like i got so lucky in that so many of my friends were able to come and also the night went so smoothly aside from there definitely being on and off rain it ended up being totally fine inside my curls in my hair lasted about six seconds which is okay but i was like damn i should have just like, why did I try? Why did I even try? You would also not believe how much hairspray I had in my hair from not only the day's hairstyle before, but also the hairspray of that day. And I probably hadn't washed my hair in six days. Like, if what was in my hair and the circumstances were not enough to make curls stay on the day of the engagement party, there's just no world where, like, like there were no other options to make that a possibility. Overall, the night went so smooth. I definitely woke up that morning having pre-party jitters and it was such a perfect evening. Oh my God, just like, I don't know. It was perfect. It was seriously so perfect. I had so much fun. I feel like I also learned so much. I made an excellent decision um, of eating dinner before I went and thank God because I don't know if I ate anything. I definitely didn't have any of like the foods that were being passed around. I think I had like maybe one macaron the entire night. I also was so sober by the end of the night. I feel like you always hear from brides that you either end up so sober by the end of the night or like waste by the end of the night and there's just like no happy middle ground i i probably drank maybe over the course of four hours a total of two drinks if you put together all of the drinks that i started drinking and then put down somewhere and lost because i got like swept into a conversation over in the opposite side of the room so i was wildly sober um which was all very convenient because my dress although stunning was so uncomfortable you guys i was dying not quite bleeding by the end of the night but like the chafing that was here i definitely should have like given the dress a little test run during the day so that i could have put like just a little moleskin or whatever on the inside would have made a huge difference the bodysuit was a little bit tight i probably should have gone back for one more round of alterations but i was like nah i'll be fine it's gonna be fine so definitely learned a lot about the dress process and i will make sure to do a test run for at least an hour or so um many weeks before the day of because i was so wildly uncomfortable but it was worth it because the dress was absolutely stunning having a photo booth was literally the best decision i could have ever made i'll have a link to um my new friend george's photo booth it's called flash reflections I'll have a link to his Instagram. Um, I have a bunch of them here and seriously like I got the professional photos back today and they're stunning but like these were just so fun and I feel like I got a photo with almost everyone. Got Matt and I. We've got um, Eugene, Matt, Zach, Maggie, and Kelsey. My friend Tracy and Mia. More family members and Jeremy's mom who's adorable. Uh, Jeremy's bestie and I. These ones are so cute of my parents and I. Here's my parents, my aunt and her boyfriend, dad and I, Mia and I. Like these are just so cute. There's so many more. Here's Lana and Jeremy. Here's Jerry and I. And then there's obviously a whole bunch of just Jeremy and I, but they're so cute. Also, I think I already talked about this when I gave like the little uh, tour right when we got there, but the little JL. I'm gonna find the other uh, logo options that we had that had the L first and they were just not as good. Knowing that this one looked this good, I could not choose this one, even though I feel like the girl's name always goes first, typically, traditionally, whatever you wanna call it. And overall, this is like, we just made a logo for Jeremy's full name. So that's super nice for you, Jeremy. Love that for you. Leftover flowers are everywhere in my house currently, which honestly is kind of nice. We sent everyone home with the little ones that had the really cute little ceramic planter on the bottom. So everyone got to like take home a little floral bouquet, which was very cute. Um, but overall, what an incredible, Incredible evening it makes me even more excited to really dive into the wedding planning process again please leave me all of the tips ever the recommendations 
because I am officially planning the wedding. I sent out a few emails this morning to different planners that I want to set just like intro meetings with to start talking about different venues. I've got a few venues in mind that I'm excited about and I'm so excited to bring you guys along with me for this whole planning process. Um, also, uh, the wedding dress guessing price video, there was an issue with some of the footage, but like we're good, like nothing happened to it that's like irreparable um but the video is going up this coming weekend and i think that's gonna be it for this vlog oh my god so fun so much fun what like a great way to start all of like the wedding stuff i don't know i feel so lucky i feel so lucky okay um hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and i will see you in the next one Bye.